So she has been selling a lot of lamps, something that I don't pick up because I don't want to ship them, but she's doing really, really well and finding some major bolos. So, um, Habitat for Humanity paid $7 and it had no shade and she sold it. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, we have some big money bolos coming your way. Some of these are unexpected, and I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. These are members of my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel, which means they have joined memberships to be featured in this video. If you would like to join at level two, you will be featured in a video like this. All right, we are going to get started here. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. The first item comes from Mom's Mom Knows Treasures, and she recently started a YouTube channel. And I am looking at her thumbnails, and I'm like, oh my goodness. When I first started YouTube, my thumbnails were awful. And she, her thumbnails are amazing. I'm so excited for her. She is definitely somebody that you want to go and check out. So I will have her link down below. Go sub her up because she is a bolo finder with a big fun personality. All right. Kitty Kitty Baby Kittens. So I think they're called Kitty Kitty Kitties. I don't know. Um, let me find the Kitty Kitty Kittens. That's what they're called. But this one is a baby. So I don't know. I've sold Kitty Kitty Kittens, but I don't think I've ever sold a baby. Look how cute it is. Oh, it's so cute. All right, these are definitely a bolo item. And if you, um, let me see if I can play her video. All right, let's listen to it. Can you hear it? Okay, so let me explain this. When you pet them, they have a rattle in their head, which makes it sound kind of like it's purring. So she's showing you that um, the rattle works. She got this at Shop Goodwill, $40 for a lot. I don't know if it was a lot of plush or what it was. So about a dollar in this. And she took a best offer of $80 plus shipping. The next item is this in and out Burger uh, pin tournament of roses, I iconic burgers from 1986. So it's a pin. And she got this uh, $20 she paid for 70 pins. So she's got about 28 cents in this. And she took a best offer of $80. 28 cents into $80 is awesome. Okay, this Rushton rubber face chippy chipmunk squirrel from 1960s. Um, if you don't know, Rushton is a big money bolo. And I have not, um, I didn't know that they actually put it on the rubber. So that's good to know. Um, usually they have like a little tush tag. This guy, I mean, he's in pretty, you know, well-loved condition. And she sold this for a best offer of $100 and got it at a flea market for two. All right. These items come from Groundhog. That is her eBay store. I will have it linked down below if you'd like to go check out some of the items that she has listed. She has a really great store. Lots and lots of different items here, and um, you can check it out down below. And she sold this red phone. It is a vintage Erica Fawn Cobra rotary dial telephone, Red North Electric Company, Ohio. And she sold this for $129.99 plus shipping, and she picked it up at a flea market for $30. Look how cool that is. So it sits on the part where you uh, dial it out. Pretty cool, right? The next item she sold is this 12 Monkeys, the Complete Series DVD set. It is brand new. And she got this in a high bid lot and she sold it for $25.99. So that is not, um, I've never heard of 12 Monkeys. So $25.99 plus shipping on that one. The next item, I just love this. It is an original 1961 Thomas Dam Troll, uh, seven inch. Troll doll from Denmark, glass eyes and gray hair. And she got a lot of trolls on high bid for $10 for the entire lot. And this one doll sold for a best offer of $80 plus shipping. And 
There's the feet and the back. Franklin Hill Ventures. He has not been putting out much content lately, but follow him for when he does. He is overselling on whatnot. So definitely go follow him over there. I do have a link um, to join down below. If you have not joined whatnot, you can get $10 credit when you use that link down below. Um, it is my referral link. And I am, I keep saying I'm going to do it. I'm going to have a show. I keep sitting stuff to the side that I'm going to sell. I don't know when I'm going to do it crazy busy right now, but I, I hope to do one in the future. So be sure to follow me, Bolo Buddies, also over on Whatnot. So Franklin Hill Ventures and Bolo Buddies. All right. Let's see. Let's see what he sold here. He's a Bolo finder for sure. He sold this 2018 Ford F-150 US kit user manual. Um, he also does uh, flea market booths. So he has content about that on his channel as well. And this he got at a yard sale for $1 and he sold it for $53.13. The next item he sold is this etched glass oil and vinegar cruet with sterling silver topper. How cool is that? It's got a topper that is sterling and it's marked right there. So when you see these things, definitely check for markings that will tell you if it's sterling. Okay. Um, really cool, really cool item. Uh, he sold this for $35 best offer. He got it at an estate sale for five bucks. The next item he sold on Poshmark, it is this antique porcelain salt cellar floral design gold trim. And he sold this for $40 on Posh. He got it in an estate sale for five. So I sell hard goods on Poshmark also. There is definitely a market over there. So if you're not on Posh Poshmark, I highly recommend it. Um, and Mercari. Those are the main platforms I sell on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari. Um, I use List Perfectly to cross post. If you guys want to check out a video on how that works, I'll have it linked down in the description. And if you want to try it, you can use referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word, to get 30% off your first month. Um, hard goods on Poshmark. I've got lots of videos that I share with you. I sell lots of toys, just lots of different items. But Franklin Hill Ventures here is selling glass. So look at this fancy item. And this is selling on Poshmark too. So you can sell anything, anything over there, pretty much anything. You can't sell perfume because perfume has to um, ship ground. Nail polish is another thing that you cannot sell on Poshmark. Anything that has um, that's flammable, you cannot sell on Poshmark because those items have to ship ground. And when you sell on Poshmark, they send you a label and all of the labels are priority mail. So those items will get removed if you list them. So be careful with that. Okay, the Quiet Thrifter, an amazing, amazing eBay store. No YouTube channel, but definitely go and check out her awesome store. Look at this old, old music box. So fun. Um, look at this. Look at these cool items. Is that It says pets, Bratz pets. Huh, a lot of stuff I've never even seen before. I love that. Okay. So let's see what she sold. She sold this uh, Christian Dior hat. And I'm sorry, I don't know where she got her, what she paid for it. I didn't get that information in time for the video, but she sold this for $100. And look how beautiful it is. Um, still got that original tag on it. That is fantastic. Look at that. Wow. Wow. That is just made in Italy. Very cool. So a hundred bucks on that. The next item she sold is this vintage 1960s MCM, mid-century modern, lucite grape cluster lamp. This is sweet. I love this. She got this at a junk shop for $3 and sold it for $93 plus shipping. This Danish model line, or I'm sorry, mode line, mid-century modern Danish mode line style walnut and brass table lamp. So she has been selling a lot of lamps. Something that I don't pick up because I don't want to ship them. But she's doing really, really well and finding some major bolos. So um, Habitat for Humanity paid $7 and it had no shade. And she sold it for $175 uh, plus shipping. All right. The next items come from Cheryl Shiny Squirrel. And she sells a lot of toys like me. So definitely go and check out her eBay store. Lots of fun, affordable items. If you guys are looking for a gift or something like that, really great store. So definitely check that out. Um, all of the eBay stores and YouTube channels are linked down below in the description. They are clickable links. So you can just 
head over and sub subscribe to the YouTube channels and check out the eBay stores. All right. This is a uh, 1965. It's a it's a wooden hanging cabinet rack. So if you open it up here, it's a spice rack. And she picked this up at a garage sale for $10 and sold it for $124.99. But here's what's cool. It had spices in it. And it looks like um, they were pre-owned but and vintage. So she's just selling them under, um, let me see here, spice advertising, spice and extract advertising. So collectibles, um, because obviously it's vintage. You're not going to want to eat something like that. But people look for the old advertising and stuff like that. Now, is this a big money bolo? No, but this is somebody who is taking an item that came with extra items, selling the one item, and then making some bread and butter off of the other items. Does that make sense? So I wanted to share it. Uh, so she sold this for $5 plus shipping. So if there were 20 spices in there, I mean, that's going to add up. So it does take some time to part it out. And it's not for everyone. I say that a lot of times when I part things out. Some of you, maybe most of you would not waste your time doing this, but it all adds up. So I think it's pretty cool. This pillow, it's a vintage Victorian telephone needlepoint tapestry pillow. And she picked this up at a garage sale for $1 and sold it for $24.99 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage Furby Snowball from 1998. These electronic Furbies are definitely something to bolo for. A lot of them um, are bread and butter, but some of them go for big money. This one sold for um, $47.99, and this was uh, just a personal item that she had from home. And a lot of people are buying these, and they are customizing them. Horse and Hair Curiosity Shop, and she has a very, very... Uh, interesting store. I mean, I, I always say she is like one of the most amazing sourcers I've ever seen. Just the stuff in her store is, it's always fantastic. So check out what she's got listed there. She sold this vintage Edna something, handmade soft sculpture, pantyhose nurse and baby. Look at the face on this thing. It's made out of pantyhose. You guys, is that awesome or what? Um, she got this at, at the Goodwill for $4 and it sold for full asking price in uh, three hours of $98. So she thinks she may have undersold it. This is a chess set, vintage fantasy artist carved wooden one of a kind. Look at this. I mean, that is art, right? Wow. Just, just amazing. Um, she got this at... She didn't say, oh wait, Facebook Marketplace for $25 and she took a best offer of $375 plus shipping. The next item she sold is this Judy Bomberger art sculpture, Happy Chef Woman with Wine. And she got this for 10 bucks at an online auction and she sold this for 85 plus shipping. All right, let's see. This is from iCandy Vintage, no YouTube channel. Her eBay store is linked down below. Um, let's see. For some reason, it's only showing me these items. Oh, here we go. So it's broken down by some categories, newly listed featured items. Okay. See, I've never done this with my eBay store. You just go into mine and it's just all of my listings right there. So, um, again, wide variety of items. So check out her store. All right. She sold this Yankee candle hanging tart holder Fishing Bears Entry with Old Friend, and it is rare, harder to find items. She got it at a thrift store for $2.99 and sold it for $45 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage 1960s Tupperware, Tupper Toys, Bugs Bunny, Snapix toy with purchase slip. Huh. I've never, ever seen anything like that. Look how cool that is. Wow, that's interesting. Anybody seen this before? Uh, Facebook Marketplace, five bucks and sold it for $39.19 plus shipping. The next item she sold is this um, magnetic base. I don't really know what this is, um, but she got it at an estate sale for five bucks and she sold it for $50 plus shipping. I mean, all the information's on the box, so pretty easy to look up. All right, the next one comes from Three Ducks Resale, uh, no eBay store. This is. Um, if you click on the link down below, it will take you into um, their listings. 
and you can look through their items just like I'm showing you right now. Just kind of scroll through them, okay? All right, so let's see what we have here. Let me make sure, yeah. So if you go in, you can hit see other items if they don't have visit store. Mackenzie Child's retired 2004 green and white swirl flower pot. And I don't know how to identify if it's Mackenzie Child's, but I've heard that is definitely a bolo. I don't know if those markings mean anything. Um, she got this at the Goodwill for $4 and sold it for $125 plus shipping. The next item is this Cosmo robot by Anki with blocks, no charger, limited edition. So it doesn't even have a charger and it sold for $85 and it was a personal item and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Blanco art glass water bottle. Super, super pretty with a double spout. Sold this for $60 on best offer and got it at the Goodwill for six bucks. The next items come from Yard Sales and Dreams. And if you want to find out what's in the box, go check it out. Mystery box at a yard sale. All right. Let's see what she found here. Oh, it looks like she went to. Oh, OK. There's a place called Dirt Cheap um, that Money Making Mama goes to. And she sources like crazy stuff. And I'm like, oh, did Yard Sales and Dreams go there? Because I saw Dirt Cheap in the title. But no, nope, something different. OK. Vintage Frederick Remington Cheyenne bronze sculpture. And she got this at a thrift store. She did pay up for it. She paid $100 for it and it sold for $245 plus shipping. The next item it is unbelievable. I'm just going to say it's unbelievable. Chicago Bulls NBA Drew Pearson snapback hat Jordan vintage 90s shockwave rare. So I don't know if it's this shockwave on the front or what makes this so special, but wait until you hear this. She got this at a yard sale for $6 and sold it for a best offer of $490. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable. The next item she sold is this set of Pyrex. Uh, it's the Friendship Birds. And, you know, Pyrex is all over the place. It ranges from bread and butter to big money. This one she paid $5 for at a yard sale for the whole set, which is just unbelievable because it looks in really great condition. And she took a best offer of $100 on that. And the buyer paid shipping. Don, Don's One Stop and Shop. This is his um, eBay store. Definitely. Oh, nope. I'm sorry. I'm showing you his solds. No. Um, okay. His eBay store is um, linked down below. But if you click here, visit store. And this is the Nelson Complete Study Bible System. And it sold for $65. And he got this at a yard sale for $1. And he's got the information right here. Lots of pictures. So a Bible, a study Bible, bonded leather. This one is a uh, kill zone. It's a PlayStation game. He got this at a yard sale for two bucks and sold it for $74.99 plus shipping or free shipping on that one. This beach ball. It's a 2006 Intex, the wet set jumbo inflatable 48 inch ball. These big beach balls are a bolo. If you can find the big ones that are older and discontinued, they go for big money. Now, he did end up selling, um, he took a best offer of 65 each just to get a, a quick sale. He paid $3 each at the Goodwill for these. So he could have definitely held out for more, but he said quick sale, 65 bucks each, done. Okay, let's go into visit store since I messed that up and I was under his solds. And I'll just show you some of the things here that he has listed. Again, just a really wide variety of items. Um, some really like items that are inexpensive. So definitely might, if you see something you like, check him out. All right. Wandering Creeks. Yeah. Antiques at Wandering Creek. All right. I was looking at my cheat sheet. I had Wandering Creek. Here we go. Look at this store. Amazing. Awesome. Fun items. Lots of variety. You can check her out down below. 
she sold this antique handmade copper chamber pot planter. She got this at a private pick for a dollar and sold it for $65. And it looks like free shipping on that one. But I mean, it's not in great condition. Would you guys have picked this up or would you have left it behind? Let me know in the comments. Pretty cool bolo. I really like the ones that are unexpected like that. Uh, these are Alan Edmonds tasseled men's loafers. And she got these at an estate sale for, she paid $66 for the entire contents of the closet. And this one item sold for $145 free shipping. The next item is Bible Knowledge. It's a two volume set here. She got this from her neighbor's sister for a dollar. And she sold this for $65 free shipping. Uh, in the life of a reseller, formerly known as, um, oh, designs by Josie. It took me a minute. Uh, let's see what she sold here. This is her YouTube channel. And she sold this Vintage Express Rider Men's Western tie-dye button shirt. So I don't know if it was originally tie-dyed or if somebody tie-dyed it. Um, but she got this for 25 cents at a thrift store and sold it for $39.99. The next item is this vintage cardinal anthropomorphic dog poodle laundry water sprinkler. And these are collectible. And this is the top here. She got this out of a free box at a thrift store and sold it for a best offer of $45 plus shipping. The next item is this necklace. It is a Black Hills gold heavy sterling silver and 12 karat gold leaves bracelet. Um, it is signed and this has been sitting in her money pile and she finally listed it. She got it at a thrift store for $1 and sold it best offer of $200. So that is fantastic. Okay. Again, everybody is linked down in the description of the video. Be sure to sub up these YouTube channels. They are Bolo Finders. They are fantastic channels. Um, check out their eBay stores. Everybody's eBay store is linked down below. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out another video that's going to pop up here. There's a subscribe button and another video down below. Um, check out the description of the video for links of things that I use, such as List Perfectly that I mentioned earlier. And check out that whatnot link and uh, come follow. Come follow Bolo Buddies. Hopefully I'll do um, a live sale. Oh, I'm kind of nervous about it. But anyway, thanks for watching.